All right, welcome to History Downrange. Today we are discussing our initial impressions of the Beulah Defense M14. Now before I talk too much about this, I have to preface this by saying that I'm not sure exactly what model this was supposed to be. Uh, I bought this from a guy who bought it from a guy. To me, this looks like the USGI model that's been put in a, an original surplus stock and handguard. I don't know if that was something the previous owner did or something Beulah did for them. I'm just not sure. So this rifle has the 22 inch lightweight contour USGI barrel. Uh, 1 in 12 twist, not the usual 1 in 10. Because 1 in 12 is what the original M14 used. Now this has a Criterion chrome lined barrel. My CMP M1 Garand also has a Criterion barrel. So everyone knows the Springfield Armory M1A and they use cast receivers. Beulah uses forged receivers. How much of a difference that really makes, I don't know. We've all heard that forged is supposed to be better. Uh, forged is certainly closer to the original specs, but I haven't really heard of Springfield Armory M1As exploding or anything that would lead me to believe that the cast receivers are unsafe in some way. Now, so far we've fired about 200 rounds through this uh, without a single malfunction yet. Uh, about three boxes have been GGG uh, 147 grain 308 Winchester uh, Lithuanian made full metal jacket ammo. And the rest has been this Swiss Soltec, also 308 parentheses 76251. And then the head stamp on this is 762. So I believe these are also uh, 147 or 148 grain. Now the fit and finish is pretty good comparing it to my. CMP M1 Garand. It's a little bit different finish. Uh, I'd say they're very close in quality. Now, so far, we've been shooting this with just iron sights. Uh, 300 yards, we had no problems. I wouldn't expect it to. We shot at 600 yards at a reduced IPSC target that's 12 inches wide by 21 tall. A very windy day. Our spotting scope had a pretty rough time seeing the target, but you can see we got in a five shot group, we got at least three hits, possibly a fourth, hard to tell on that third shot, and one miss. So, pretty decent group for irons shooting essentially M80 ball at a 600 yard target. Pushed it out to 650 on a different day, and this is the group we got. <laughs> Now, if you compare that group size to the M1 Garand, you'll see the M1 Garand seems to be holding a tighter group at 650 yards with roughly the same ammunition. Uh, M2 ball and M80 are very close ballistically. Why the Garand shoots better with irons than the M14, we'll get into in a different video. Uh, again, these two both have Criterion barrels. The Garand does have a little bit longer sight radius and a bigger front sight tower, and I think that helps a lot. Now, 700 yards, uh, hard time seeing the target, a lot of brush in the way. So here is our first group, a little bit off to the right.
still pretty good. And here was our second 700 yard group. Again, not the best I've gotten with iron sights. Um, a couple bolt actions I've done better than that. But given the reputation of the M14 for not being as accurate as a lot of other battle rifles, at least when it's not in its uh, tuned national match configuration, which this one is not, I think it's doing pretty well. So, so far my initial impressions of the Beulah Defense M14 have been good. In our next video, we're going to be testing it with this Bassett machine scope mount and see what kind of accuracy we can get with a good optic on it. Is it worth the $2,000 to $2,500 price tag? Especially when a CMP expert grade grand is about $1,100 uh, and a Springfield M1A standard is uh, $1,500 to $1,700. I have not decided that yet. If you guys have any experience with these Beulah M14s, let me know in the comments. I'd be very interested to hear what your experience has been with them, but we will see as our test continues. Thanks for watching.